everybody, uh, this is Mr. Mathlog. Uh, this lesson is proportional relationships and graphs. Okay, so here's our, our common core strand for our groovy teachers. And then our question is, is how can we use graphs to represent and analyze proportional relationships? Okay, let's uh, re recap from the last lesson, you guys. If X and Y are proportionately related, then we can use the equation Y equals KX, where K is called the constant of proportionality. We'll dive more into that in just a little bit. And uh, it, and K equals your Y value over your X value. So if we have an ordered pair, it's always written with X first in alphabetical order. X comes before Y in the alphabet. So it's always written as X comma Y. Okay, so it's this number over this number right here to get K. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So um, the equation y equals 5x represents the relationship between the number of gallons of water used. That's our y. So it's, the y tells us the number of gallons of water used and the number of minutes, uh, which is x, uh, that the shower head, uh, for most shower heads, manufactured uh, before 1994. So if it's like five minutes, then we do five times five. And that'll tell us it's going to be five gallons that that shower head used, okay? So explain why the relationship is proportional, okay? And then how does this equation represent the constant of proportionality? Okay, so the equation is in the form of y equals kx. It's y equals 5x, where k is the constant of proportionality. So the shower head delivers water at a rate of five gallons per minute, where k equals five, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and complete this table for this uh, shower head here. Let me slide that up right there. Okay, so, so remember, y equals 5 times x. This is always, the top row is always our x's, and the bottom row is always our y's. Okay, so, so this is my x. So we plug in 1 right here. 5 times 1 gets us this 5. So we plug in 2 right here. 5 times 2 is going to tell us the water, the gallons that we uh, did after 2 minutes is, is 10 minutes. Okay, plug in 3. 5 times 3, 15 gallons. Okay, did I say 10 minutes? 10 gallons, sorry. And then what times 5 equals 35? Okay, well then that would be 7. 7 times 5 equals 35. So after 7 minutes, then that water shower head would um, uh, use up 35 gallons of water. That's a lot of water, okay? And then 10 minutes, that's going to be 10 times 5, or 50 right there, okay? So now we're going to write these as the ordered pairs, the time, uh, comma, water used, okay? So remember, this is our x. So here's our time, here's our water used. So we represented 1, comma, 5 right here, 1, comma, 5. So this one's going to be 2, comma, 10, okay? 3, 15, 7, comma, 35, and 10, comma, 50, okay? So here's 2, 10, 3, 15, 7, 35, 10, 50. Okay, next now we're going to uh, plot these pairs right here. So I'm going to plot 1, 5 first. I'll highlight this in blue. I'll go over 1. Uh, now just look at the scales right here. Okay, now your book doesn't put X right here. I like to put X for, this is always our X axis. This is always that top row in a, in a table right here. This is always the Y axis, and this is always the bottom row in the table when they give us a table. Okay, so notice these are going by 1, 2, 3, 4. These are going by 5, 10, 15, 20. So we'll go over 1, up 5. That's going to plot 1, 5. Okay, now we'll go over 2, up 10. Okay, over 3, up 15. All right, now over 7, it's going to be over 7. Here's 7 right here. It's going to go up to 35. So right there, okay. And then over 10, up 50. Can you see that? I'm making a straight line. We can connect those up with a straight line right there. So if the shower head uses, and that's part of proportionality, you guys. Proportionality means that there's a straight line. It also means it goes through the origin. We'll talk about that in just a minute. If the shower head used, uh, is used for zero minutes, how many gallons of water are being used? Well, if it's never turned on, then zero gallons of water is going to be used. What's the ordered pair? It would be zero, zero, and what's this location called? That's called the origin. So after zero minutes, zero gallons is used, and the ordered pair is at zero, zero. So I can plot that point right there. It would be, it would be um, this guy right here. Okay, so there would be zero, zero. After zero minutes, then it, go, it would use up zero right there. Okay.
So we'll talk about that in just a minute, okay? All right, so um, just move that up and save some room. So if the shower head is used in one minute, now remember, if it's in one minute, that's our that's our unit rate, okay? How many gallons of water will be used? What ordered pair represents that situation, and what's this point represent, okay? So after one minute, remember, this is, oops, let me get my pointer right here. This is one right here over, this is minutes down here, and this is the water and gallons used right here. So after one minute, we used five gallons, okay? So how many gallons of water will be used? Five gallons. What's the ordered pair? This would be ordered pair one comma five. Remember, X always comes first, so this would be one comma five. And then what does this point represent? It represents uh, the constant of proportionality or the unit rate, okay? so. When, uh, when we have the denominator to be 1, because it's always y over x, so here the constant of proportionality is 5 over 1, so y over x. And if it's over 1, that's our constant of proportionality, or it's our, our unit rate. Do you remember talking about that? All right, if we continued the table to include 23 minutes, would the point 23, 125 be on this graph? Well, remember, the, the equation is y equals 5x. So if we plugged in 23 right there, if 23 times 5 is the same as 20 plus 3 times 5, and then 5 times 20 is 100, 5 times 3 is 15, so we get 115. So that gets us the ordered pair 5 comma 115, not, I'm sorry, did I say 5 comma 115? It should be uh, 23 comma 115. Let me fix that right there. That should be a 23, not um, a 23 125 right there. Okay. All right, I thought I cleared up all the mistakes. I get to make a mistake every time with you guys. Oh, well. Mistakes are good, you guys. Then you, you make them less and less every time. So at least, if, at least in thinking you do, I keep making them. All right, identifying proportional relationships. So in, uh, in addition to using a table to determine if a relationship is proportional, we can also use a graph. So if they give us a graph, then we to check to see if it's re, uh, it's proportional. Then it's pro, it's a proportional relationship if the graph is a straight line and it does go through the origin. If one of those doesn't uh, satisfy it, then it's not proportional. All right, so uh, so here we go. So this table uh, shows the relationship between the amount charged by a house cleaning company and the amount of time worked. Okay, so uh, again. You guys, when we're graphing it, this would be the x, this would be the y. This is always the, the horizontal axes, and this is always the bottom row is the vertical axes, the y axes, okay? So on the bottom, we're going to have time in hours and cost going up on the, on the vertical one right there. So is this, is this relationship proportional relationship and explain? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is um, uh, write them as ordered pairs. Okay, remember it's going to be uh, time comma cost, this one comma this one, x comma y when we're graphing that. Okay, so we're going to do 145, 2 comma 90, 3 comma 135, and so on, all the way up to 5 comma 360. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and plot those points right there. All right, so let's look at the graph right here. They usually give you a graph. Okay, so here's the time right here. Remember, that was that top row. Here's the cost. That was the bottom row, the cleaning cost. I noticed your book didn't give a title to each graph. That's always important. When you're doing graphs, make a title. What's it talking about? The cleaning cost right there. Okay. So over 1, up 45. Well, this is up 50, so 45 is going to be right below. It's almost going to look like I'm going to plot a point right there on the 1, 50, but it's actually 1, 45 right there. Okay, and I highlighted it up there in red up there. So here's 1, 45. Okay, I'll highlight this one in red next. So 2, 90. So over 2, up 90. Not quite to 100, just a little bit below 100 right there. Okay, and then over 3, up 135, looking pretty linear, looking like a straight line. It even looks like it's going through the origin. Over 5, up 125, or sorry, 225. So here's over 5. Here's 200 right here, you guys. Here's 250, so 225 will be right there in the middle right there, okay? All right, and then uh, over 80, up 360, way up there. Okay, so notice that these points are on a line right there. Notice that that line goes through the origin, so that tells us that the, this relationship is proportional, okay? And so the point 1, 45 on that graph 
shows what the constant of proportionality is. So remember, when it's in it, uh, when it's one comma anything, then that's a unit rate right there. Okay, so it's forty-five dollars for one hour. That's that cleaning uh, company uh, charges. So the household company, house cleaning company charges forty-five dollars per hour per one hour. Okay, here's another one. Jared rents bowling shoes for six dollars and pays five dollars to bowl. Is this relationship? A proportional relationship and explain okay so so one game you guys uh, one game is five dollars plus the six dollars for the shoe so it's eleven dollars okay two games is going to be five times two plus the six dollars for the shoe is sixteen five times three plus six four times three uh, Lucy come here Lucy come on honey Lucy's uh over there looking for her ball. So where is it, honey? Go find it. Go find it. All right. So anyways, Lucy, I'm sure you've heard of Lucy in prior videos with her squeaky ball. Her squeaky's broken, so you don't hear it squeaking as much anymore, but she still plays for it. Anyway, so there's the ordered pairs right there. Sorry about that, you guys. So let's graph these guys. So 1, 11. So we're going to go over 1 up 11 so there's like 1 comma 11 right there okay and then uh, 2 comma 16 3 comma 21 4 comma 26 okay and then um, this is not proportional because that line does not go through the origin it has to be a line and it has to go through the origin to be considered what we say is proportional relationship it is a linear relationship it does make a line but it's not proportionate because it doesn't go through the origin, okay? All right, so recall we can describe a proportional relationship with the equation y equals kx, and the constant of proportionality, k, tells us how steep the graph or the relationship is, or how steep the line is anyway. So the greater the absolute value k, the steeper the line is right there. Okay, so this graph shows the relationship between time that's in minutes and the number of miles Damon runs. Okay, so let's look at our axes right here. So this is time in minutes. So these are going by fives, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, and so on. And then over here, these are going distance in miles. So this is one mile, so this is a half a mile. So this is one and a half. This is two. This is two and a half miles. Three, three and a half miles, and so on right there. So write an equation. Okay. All right. So uh, the point appears to form the points appear to form a straight line that does go through the origin. So we're going to say that that relationship is proportional. So we're going to use uh, y equals kx, where where y is the distance and x is the time right there. So recall, you guys, k equals y over x. Now, your book chooses um, uh, other points. I like choosing the one where it's the unit rate right here. I'm going to choose this point right here. This is going to be 10, 1 right here. Okay, how much did we go over is the first number. How much we went up is the second number. Okay, so this is x. This is y. Now, your book doesn't put x over here and doesn't put y here. I do though you guys so uh, anyways so that's X and that's Y right there okay so just remember this horizontal line is your X axis and the vertical line is your Y axis right there so over 10 up 1 so this is going to be 1 tenth right there okay so when we plug that in uh, you can use any point on there you guys you'll still get the same value for K but why not do the one with the one right there so you don't have to reduce them Okay, so we get one tenth right there. So our equation is y equals one tenth x. Uh, y equals kx. So our k is one tenth. All right, easy, right? So the graph shows the relationship between the distance a bicycle a, a bicyclist travels and the time in hours. Okay, so here's the time in hours. So notice they didn't put x here. This is my x-axis. Notice they didn't put y here. This is the y-axis right here. So how much we go over is x. How much we go up is y. So what does the point 4, 60 represent? So 4 represents the time, 4 hours, 60 re represents 60 miles right there, okay? So the, the bicyclist rides 60 miles in 4 hours. What's the constant of proportionality? Okay, now we can use these points if you wanted to. Oops, let me get that back to this. We can use these points right here, 4, 60, and do 60 over 4. Or we can just pick this point right here where it's 1 right here, okay? So if that's 20, this is 10, so this must be 1, 15. So 1, 15 is going to get us um, 
Uh, y goes on top, so 15 over 1 is 15, so that's the constant of proportionality. So write an equation, y equals kx, well that's going to be y equals 15x. Okay, so here, uh, they want us to talk about that graph right there. What is the meaning of the point on the graph uh, with x coordinate 1? Okay, well, that point 115 shows that the unit rate of this situation is 15 miles per hour. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.